Evening everyone with their emotional win over VCU on Friday night and playing a third game in as many days. You had to figure the Richmond Spiders were due for a letdown in the 810 semifinals against Dayton. And for a good part of that game, you would have been right. But not for all of it. First half today taking on the Dayton Flyers, a team that beat them by two at the Robbins Center just a few weeks ago. Tyler Burton up and under with the reverse. He had 16, Spiders down two. Flyers, R.J. Blakeney, layup off the Kobe Ellis assist. He had eight. Flyers started the game on a 9-2 run. Grant Golden gets hacked in the act. He had a team high 18 points. Spiders, though, still down five. Then Kobe Brea hits a three. He had 10. Flyers led by eight at the break. Second half, they extend it to Mani Kamara with the basket and the foul. 17 points, 14 rebounds for him. Flyers led by as many as 15 in the second half. And that's when the Spiders come back. Jake Gilliard with the runner, he had 11. Golden off the pick and roll. And Matt Grace even had 12 off the bench as the Spiders come from behind to win 68 to 64. And as Sean Robertson reports, they got a chance for a tournament title tomorrow. For the second time in this conference tournament alone, Richmond stared at a second half double digit deficit. And like the other times in the regular season and in the postseason, the Spiders responded in a huge way, bouncing back from a 15 point second half deficit against Dayton to upset the Flyers 68 64 and advance to their first conference championship game since 2011. You know, maturity, older guys, high character guys, um, you know, guys that have seen it all. Uh, I just think it's a testament to all of those things. It's all resiliency. We've got a, a tough group of guys that's been together for a while. Um, and, you know, we're, we're ready no matter who it is, 1 through 20. Uh, the next guy's ready to step up. It really is something really special. And, um, you know, of course, I wish we weren't in those situations as often, but uh, we've really battled back and, and played well when we have been. Several teams across the country will keep a close eye on this year's 8-10 conference final as Richmond could be a potential bid stealer for this year's NCAA tournament. You know, at the end of the day, this is what we came here for. We didn't come here to, to beat VCU or, or Rhode Island or, or Dayton. You know, we came to, came to win the A-10 championship, and you know, that's our goal going into tomorrow. To have this opportunity to, to get a shot, to bring the school a, a championship, uh, that's all we wanted, all we've worked for, and, and now we have the opportunity tomorrow. When Richmond won the conference championship back in 2011, they did it by winning three games over three days. If they were to knock off Davidson Sunday afternoon, it would be four wins over four days for the school's second conference championship. That's the story here from Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. I'm Sean Robertson for CBS Six Sports.